This is an easy, quick, and yummy hash stir-fry called picadillo. I'm Tess, and I'll show you how I make my version of this delicious picadillo meal. There are so many different recipes and variations of this Latin American and Spanish dish called picadillo. I make this dish different every time depending on what I have available. Picadillo is basically a ground meat stir-fry with vegetables, spices, and often found with raisins and olives. So let me show you my version of picadillo. And by the way, you can find this recipe in the list of ingredients in the description box below. So let's get started. In a medium-high pan, I'm adding a little oil and the ground beef. Stirring and cooking for about 3 to 5 minutes until it's no longer pink. And then I'm adding some finely diced onions, bell peppers, some minced cloves of garlic, and a little salt and black pepper. Stirring and cooking for another 2 to 3 minutes. I'm using the veggies I have on hand, but you can add whatever you like. I sometimes add some small diced potatoes, celery, carrots, zucchini, or even some peas. Now I'm adding some tomato sauce, some fresh chopped parsley, some homemade sazon, and I'll leave a link to that recipe here and in the description box below. Some oregano and a little more cumin. Giving that a stir and cooking for another minute to get incorporated and all those spices flowing. Now I'm adding some olives. I couldn't decide on whole or slice, so I'm adding a little of both. The olives will add some saltiness. And for a little sweetness, in goes some raisins. Giving that a good stir and cooking for two to three minutes. If you like this picadillo recipe, please hit the like button and subscribe for future video recipes. Please remember to visit me on Facebook and Test Cooks For You blog. Feel free to share this recipe and my channel with your friends and family. I'm adding a little water, bringing up to a simmer, and cooking partially covered for 10 to 15 minutes. You can also use vegetable, chicken, or beef broth. Remember to taste test and add the seasonings to your liking, like salt, black pepper, or even some more sazon. I'm adding a little fresh chopped cilantro, stirring and cooking for another minute. And we are ready to eat. Let's fix a plate. Serving tonight over rice. Picadillo is also good over potatoes, pasta, or grits. This meal is so quick and easy. What is really nice is that you can also use this picadillo for the filling inside tacos, burritos, empanadas, or even on top of nachos. I hope you give this delicious picadillo dish a try. Until next time, enjoy.